Congressman, I wanted to ask you um, a bit of breaking news. So I understand if you may not have seen this, but the Post is now reporting that a U.S. District Court judge actually believes, quote, and I'm looking down on my phone to make sure I'm reading this correctly, quote, more likely than not that Trump has committed a crime following the 2020 election and how he has intervened on that front. And it comes from a, a ruling from, you know, scores of sensitive emails that Trump allies and conservative lawyer John Eastman had actually turned over to the January 6th committee. I know there's a lot there, but wanted to get your reaction on what that can mean. Yeah, well, I've, I've not seen the decision. I look forward to, to reading it. Um, I can tell you this, I'm, I am a lawyer. And one of the things that, you know, we can all opine, but the reality is, is that that issue was not before that court. Uh, the court has not seen the evidence. There, there certainly, it was not in their jurisdiction, nor a question before the court for the court to opine on. So, um, you know, I, I look forward to reading the decision that the court uh, released. Um, but at the same time, as you're well aware in reporting this, um, you, you should make it clear that this was not an issue before this court, nor did the court have the evidence in front of it, other than the question uh, of whether or not uh, the emails uh, that were the subject matter of the case should be released to the January 6th committee. 